Next is Mommy Tang. Tang gang. What's up? Before I go on today, you know I Snapchat now, right? <laughs> I got an awesome message from one of my Tang gang. You guys have to see it. I guess if you don't have Snapchat, you don't see it, but I'll show you since you guys are special. Watch this. One of the Tang gang sent me this. Yo, we're the part of Tang Gangs, okay? Yeah. Don't mess with us. Yeah. You mess with us, we'll come and get you, okay? Yeah. We're the Tang Gang. Peace, yeah. Peace out, yo. <gasps> Snapchat is so fun, okay? Because Instagram is more like you make things beautiful and like you yes. perfect things and put it out there, right? YouTube is like, you you know, it's for you guys. But it's fun because if you monetize your videos, you make a little bit of cash. So that's fun, you know? And Snapchat is basically fun because nobody gives you any feedback. You just post whatever you want, you know? It doesn't matter if they're watching, they don't like it or not. It's just your thing. So I don't know. I find that Snapchat. And that's all I do. Facebook is mainly for my friends. I don't know. People post Amen. things on Facebook, but I don't know. It's like for, for me to like look at my friends, my old friends that like <laughs> frenemies. Oh, yeah, Facebook is so good for frenemies. Like, you know, your friends, but they're your enemies. And then like you just want to check up on them, like to see, you know, how they're living and stuff. That's what I use Facebook for. I don't know what you use Facebook for. So some people say to me, oh, I'm not from US, I'm from like some part of the world and I don't have any Asian food around me, but I want to eat Asian food. Help me, Mommy Tang. <sighs> mommy Tang to the rescue. I'm going to teach you today how to make really, really yummy Asian flavor food. And it's the way you present it. It's beautiful. So you could... Do this for your husband, you know, special occasion, or you could do it for your boyfriend, a special occasion, you know, wear a nice lingerie, make this out, you bring it to him, you're like, hi, honey, <laughs> you know, something like that. I have potatoes, these little baby potatoes. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen them before. You know, they're hard to find organic, but I found them. I have an organic market near my house. <sighs> How lucky is that? I could literally like walk like 30 minutes. I don't know, maybe 25 minutes. Uh, by car, it's like a couple minutes. But you know, me walking, I'll be like strolling, talking, and like, you know, talking to the birds and talking to the trees. And I mean, it's taking more than an hour to get there. Okay, and I have another baby, what are they called? Baby peppers, mini bell peppers. I'm sure you guys know about this. You know, you've seen it before. And I'm sure you'll be like, what am I gonna do with these? And what can I do with these? And you know, you could put them on salad, you could grill them. You know, there's a lot of stuff to do with these, you know what I mean? But today, I'm gonna give you how to make Asian using, this is like the main ingredient, okay? And then there's another ingredient that you could get. You could use regular bell peppers, yeah. And you could use regular potatoes. I'm just using baby because a mukbang today, my mukbang's topic is going to be baby. Some of you guys asked me a question about my baby. Nobody asked me, but I wanna tell you anyways. You know, stuff like that, okay? And the third ingredient we have is scallions, okay? If you have these three, you're gonna make something very beautiful today. And you're gonna be like, I did that. That's right, I did that. Let's go on with the recipe. So you could pretty much bake them or you could steam them. Because they're small, I like steaming them. But you first have to wash them. Do, do you know how to wash potatoes? You get another potato, okay? And then you get a potato, and then you rub it. You know about that, right? Oh my god, I never knew that. And that's how you wash potatoes. You, you never knew that? Have you ever seen potatoes sound like this too? Okay? They're potato brush. Please don't tell me you thought I was being real. Please, okay? It's, this is when your common sense kicks in and you're supposed to laugh. When I, when I did that, you're supposed to be, ha ha, that's a joke. If you were like, huh? Like, <laughs> you need to get together. Get your head together. Who washes potato with potato? Wash it over the water and then you steam them. You know how to steam them. You know how to bake them, right? Okay, so do that, okay, on the side. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to wash them really nicely and then cut the ends off. Remember I told you about the soup stock thing? Do that, okay? If you don't know it, then I don't know, look into that. Okay, so I cut them and cleaned it and cut it already for you. I'm just gonna show you like what to do. See how this one, like the little, I call it the hair, 
we're gonna cut it like very towards the tip like so okay not here like right at the top okay like so so you're just gonna get that off and pretty much this is what you're gonna use so you you probably need I don't know I love green scallions so I'm gonna use all this and I'm gonna eat this all by myself and you'll be like what I'll show you what I mean okay next you're gonna get these bell peppers just gonna cut them in the middle and then get these seeds out whatever use your finger use a spoon I don't know if you know a better way to do them do it another way okay I don't know I just do it like this like I said don't expect perfection out of me okay, and then you're going to continue and cut as much as you want as many as you want if you're gonna eat two just do two if you're gonna eat ten do ten if somebody looks at this and say I don't know about that dish it takes too much prepping <laughs> are you for real okay what do you want to do just get cereal and get milk and eat so you gotta do is a little bit of cooking prepping you know, especially if you're doing this for your men or something, you know, like I'm telling you, make something like this, you know, I used to do that when we're dating, oh yeah, those days, now I just cook because it's like a mandatory thing that I need to do, you know what I mean, but when I were dating, when we're dating, I used to cook up stuff like this and I used to be like, look what I got for you, babe, you know, guys like that, they say, the way to their brain is through their stomach. Have you ever heard of that? I don't even know if I'm saying it right, <laughs> but I think that's what I, I think that's what it is. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm just gonna save these for some other recipe that you probably want to know. Mommy Tim, what are you gonna use that for? Well, subscribe and I'll let you know. Okay, so what you're gonna do is pretty much cut it into, you know, somewhat thin fingerlings or I don't even know, thin slices. You know, like this. You know how when you go to uh, parties, they bring this out. Bell pop. Ooh, these are sweet. Like, almost so they're like ready to be dipped. You know what I mean? Like. Like I said, my English is not perfect, okay? So, oh my God, these are really good. They're really sweet. I'm so glad. And they were organic and little, I think they were on sale too. Oh, I did good. Mm. Make sure don't eat it all. You know, if you're doing it for your man, make sure, you know, you save some for him. You'd be like, oh, these are good. I don't want that. You know, when you cook meat, you can't be eating raw meat while you cook, while you prep. You, know, you gotta wait till like, with veggies, you could eat. You could eat away. Okay. So, you're gonna put them aside. Yellow, red, you could use green, but I'll tell you why you're not gonna use green. Are you ready for the next step? Oh God. How come you guys didn't tell me I had something in my hair? Oh yeah, you can't tell me to edit the video. So you have a steamer. You could use any pot and just steam your potatoes, okay? I went and steamed the potatoes already because I tried to save time, okay? Like I said, I'm a mother of four. I don't just have time to just let this thing go and just like play color switch or something. I don't have time for that. So you want to steam it and the best way to actually find to see if they're really cooked get a knife or something and just stab it and <laughs> obviously not this one sorry next you stab it okay obviously not this one either <laughs> you stab it if it goes in smoothly and it's supposed to kind of drop by itself but i guess maybe because the potatoes are so small but you, know, you grab it and then if it like you know it goes in smooth then they're ready okay if, if it's hard then they're not ready so Potato, put them aside because you need carbs, okay? Carbs make people happy. 
okay? I've never seen anybody on a low carb diet and say, I am so happy with my diet. Nobody says that ever, okay? People that are happy about their diet, they're always doing the high carb thing, you know? They're, I love my life. I love my high carb diet. You know, you people, you hear people saying that. Nobody says, I am on the best diet, no carb diet. You don't hear that, okay? So you need carbs. So put them aside. Now, to the same steamer. Really, you could cook this first in the steamer and then cook the potatoes. That way you save time. Today, I kind of wasn't thinking. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, when you're with me, you gotta use common sense, okay? Somebody said to me, <laughs> I want to be in the cane gang. Like, can I be in it? Yeah, sure. But have common sense. Hello. So you don't want to break them, okay? You definitely you don't want to you don't want to bend it, but you're gonna steam it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna the head down first, okay? You're gonna steam the scallions. Somehow, if they're long like this, you're just gonna kind of close it and try to like not break them apart. And you just have to wait. It's a waiting game now. You're gonna do it till they're like lifeless meanwhile let's get the sauce going okay because sauce is life the sauce that i'm about to make with you guys it involves gochujang okay somebody said oh you know like i don't know what to use for gochujang you know how many recipes i just showed you guys using gochujang a lot okay like a lot so just get it and then use it use it for something else you know what i mean it's not something that you buy and use it for like one recipe and it just sits in your pantry or refrigerator this is something that you buy you can use it for everything it's like just like sriracha oh yeah see how they're like dying they're almost dead see dead okay so pretty much that's it <laughs> that's it for the for the recipe okay and you're gonna take it out okay when they're dead looking, okay? Like, I think it was like 30 seconds or even like, I don't know, a minute? Okay, I'm gonna cook the rest of the potato because I know my monster's gonna come and say, Mommy, I want some more. You know, they're gonna steal my food, so I'm gonna cook that. You see what I just did? Cook the scallion and then potato. That's what you probably wanna do at home too, okay? So the sauce. This is my favorite gochujang of all times, okay? You could get them at Korean market. It's about $16. It's a little expensive, but the ingredient is like top notch, top, okay? This hi. is like first class, okay? Hi. Then. I said hi. Hi, hello, I'm sorry. I, was, I told you I have magic power where I could just shut and don't hear nothing. Okay, next, if you can't find or Korean markets around you, then you could get this online and you could also get them at Whole Foods and some local like really you know organic gourmet stores have them they're called mother-in-laws they're by mother-in-law's kimchi you know how I feel about you mother-in-law you know how I feel about you okay they make awesome stuff they are gochujang fermented chili paste Korean I tried it they were both amazing this goes I think around eight to ten dollars okay sixteen dollars eight to ten dollars I also found this at Wegmans. Wegmans? Wegmans? I can never say that. Wegmans, okay? And it was like three something. I was so shocked. I was really shocked. It had no MSG, had no preservative, no artificial color. And on the top of that, the ingredients were like so legit. I was like, whoa. You know what I mean? I really like this one. And it was a product of Korea not from another country. I really think that Korean food should be made in Korea, not from another country. So I really like this one. I give this one a really strong recommendation. Okay, look for that. Gochujang. Mm. So basically what you're going to do, I think I'm gonna use this one. <laughs> Just, you know, give it a little love. Amber, can you get me a spoon? Mommy forgot a spoon. They're at that age where like they fight for it, you know what I mean? They're like, I want to get it for mommy! I want to get it for mommy! <laughs> Couple more years later, I'm like, can you get it for me? They're like, oh, mom! You know what I mean? Oh, honey, thank you! See, how did my tan gain? Okay, obviously they don't want to say hi to you guys, okay? So, gochujang. Okay, if you want to make this a lot and save it in the refrigerator, go ahead and do so. Okay, into the bowl. Maybe a little bit. 
Now, just for the flavor, I'm gonna put soy sauce, but if you are worried about the, the sodium content or you just don't like soy sauce, you're allergic to soy, you could skip this. I'm using organic tamari, low sodium. Very little bit, guys, like, like very tiny, tiny bit, okay? And then you're gonna put some honey. Honey? But I thought this was a vegan channel. Well, don't you guys know? They make beef free honey, plant based. Look for it. Whole Foods, Wegmans, local supermarkets, online. You know? And this is so good. It tastes like a little bit like apple, but it tastes like honey. Yeah. So you're gonna put a lot of it in there because I like everything sweet. The next very important step here, this is the one that makes the magic, okay? Coconut vinegar, I'm using coconut vinegar. You could use any type of vinegar. If you don't want to use vinegar, use lemon. Lemon works, mm, you know, that way you could say, oh, my meal was like perfectly good, you know what I mean? Just put a little bit in, a little bit more, okay? Now, if you want to make things a little bit spicier, then you could put gochukaru. Korean hot pepper flakes. This is like very optional. You don't even have to put that. Like, it won't even make any difference. It's just one of those things that you just put. Like, doesn't really make any difference. You have no idea, but it's just, they tell you, so you do it. It's one of those, okay? And then a little bit of water. <laughs> you need to see my water too. God, so nosy. Just tiny, tiny bit. Maybe. And then you're gonna mix it really well. Yeah. If you do this in front of your boyfriend, you know, you just do this and you're like, hi honey, I'm almost ready for you. Some guys might puke. Some guys will be like, yeah baby, bring it on, you know? Okay, so, see that? It's like almost like ketchup. Very, very loose ketchup. And then you're gonna top it off with some sesame seeds. This is optional too, you don't have to, but you know how I feel about the sesame seeds and the protein and everything, right? Oh, I got the Wegmans, okay? Mix it up. Look at this. Did, it, did you see that? And on top of that, it landed on my nose. The sauce? It was really freaky. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comment about that. Oh, Mommy Ting, why don't you use it in the kitchen and this and that. That was really freaky. But anyways, let's go on with the mukbang. Whew, accident does happen. Okay, so make sure when you um, do this and show um, your sauce to people, you hold it tight. Not like me, okay? Ooh. It is so good, guys. Put that aside. I'm just gonna put this aside because I already have a potato batch, remember? Okay, so some of you might still complain. I can't find gochujang anywhere, okay? You could, I'm sure you could buy them online, but you might say like, but I can't find it, you know? For, for some of you that's in a situation like that, I am sure you could find sriracha, right? I'm going to give you a second option to this sauce. A little bit of sriracha. Oh my god, why is sriracha coming out of the wrong hole? And then on top of sriracha, find yourself sweet chili sauce. I got this from Wegmans too, but chili, sweet chili sauce, you can find it anywhere. You know, nowadays, they just sell stuff like that. So you just put a little bit in there. You're gonna put some garlic powder in there. You can find it anywhere too, right? These, all the ingredients I'm putting in here, it's pretty much the ingredients that you could find in your local supermarket. And then of course, the sesame seeds, they have that everywhere too. Okay, don't say, oh, they don't sell that here. I don't know, I don't believe you, okay? Do you know what my makeup is it? And then you just mix this, okay? So if you can make the go gochujang, it's like the ultimate sauce that we're trying to go for. If you can't find it, try this way, okay? It's like better than nothing. Mommy, can we have some chips? 
Mm. Yeah. Then you want to, of course, you know, place it in a nice bowl. Sriracha sauce. See how they look kind of similar? They do, they don't taste quite the same, but they're very similar. You know what I mean? Like fries from McDonald's and fries from Wendy's. Like they're not really the same, but they give you the same fry effect. Time to create the magic here. You're gonna get the green now. There, they should be like you know not hot now. So you're gonna squeeze the water out. Okay, just very do it very gently. Okay, you're just squeezing it out very little bit. Not like don't squeeze it like you're about to kill somebody. Just like just a little bit. Okay, like so. See? You're going to grab you know one red, two yellow, maybe one. I don't know, orange, you're gonna bunch that up like so. Okay, look at what I do, okay? Put it on the side like so. And then you're just gonna, oops, you're just gonna go around it. Okay? And then you're just gonna make a knot somehow. I don't know how, but I can't really explain. Just tuck it in, kind of suck it in, okay? So this is what you're making, okay? Pretty much. You see? I'll show it to you again red, orange, yellow, okay, get a green one, then you're going to wrap it around, wrap it around, Ooh. and then you're going to tuck it in, you have no idea how amazing this dish is, you know, you might say, oh, I don't like bell peppers, I don't like scallion, <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about, okay, and you're just going to Keep on making it, making it, making it, okay? So you run out of all the ingredients. Let's go. Look how pretty that looks. Look how pretty that is. Can you see? And you pair it with potato. Mm. Okay, and sometimes you have leftover like scallions, just you don't need paprika, you just do this, okay? This this is how Koreans eat it, usually, just like this, okay? Koreans like it like that. Just with this, it tastes good, you know? It tastes amazing. The texture, this is amazing. Oh my god, I used to love this when I was little, when I was like young, and so good. So I have four of those. Let's move on to the mukbang. Okay, let's eat. Okay, some people actually like look at sushi plates and they're like, ooh, that looks good, you know? To me, stuff like this looks good, okay? Fresh, raw, you know? Let's just poke the potato. Oh, I forgot to get my kimchi. <laughs> I'll be back. And today I will be eating this with King's kimchi. I got it at Walmart. I got a spicy one. Thank you for letting me know. They are mild flavor. They only have spicy in our location, so that's what I got. I am so ready, okay? Ooh, my God, look at that, guys. It's, oh my God, you guys, okay, I'm gonna try with my gochujang sauce. Oh my God. Mmm! 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 Sweet, crunchy. Mm. A little bit of sourness. Oh, so good. The sauce is amazing. But there, I'm trying this one too. Mmm. Mmm. In Philadelphia. That's where I live, nearby. They have this really fancy vegan store, a restaurant called The Veg. Oh. I mean, the restaurant was really nice. They have like a lot of vegan food in there, a lot of dessert, you know, appetizers and stuff like that. But they don't have any carb meal. Like 
it's like almost like going to a restaurant and they have this and this on the menu but they don't have this like if you eat this and this it's not going to give you the satisfaction you need to have carbs either potato or rice or something you know or beans or something i don't know i spent so much money in there with my, my husband and my kids a lot of money and i was kind of disappointed because i was like can i have a little bowl of rice and they gave me like a little bowl of rice i'm like that's like my spoonful i'm gonna try the sriracha sauce now cross finger i've never tried this okay the sriracha sauce i just made it up when i was making it made it look like like i knew what i was doing right i just made that up Tastes Korean, authentic Korean, but it has all the um, important factors like the sweetness and the spiciness and the sourness. It's in there, but this one you can't beat it, you know. Oh my god, guys, this is so good! Mm. I thought I would eat kimchi. I don't even think I need kimchi. I might, I'm not afraid that kimchi might even throw off the taste a little bit. Let me see. Mm, maybe kimchi and potato, but this and kimchi. Mm. You know how sometimes when you put food, like a whole bunch of food in your mouth, and you have to have certain food, certain spot in your mouth, like you have to have potato here and then have to have like something here. I'm like that, okay? It was all mixed up in there. I was like, hello, get organized in there. Mmm. Mmm. This is great picnic food too, I think, you know? Bring in the sauce container, you bring this and you bring that. Mm. Oh, look at the color, guys. Seriously. Look how gorgeous that is. We were talking about babies, right? Um, yeah, so people ask me about my babies. Are they vegan? If your husband is white, and if the wife is Asian, what do you call that? What, what kind of nationality is that for baby? Half Asian, half white, right? If your mom is black, if your dad is white, you say, hi, I'm half white, half black. I'm vegan. My husband is not. So what does that make them? Half vegan, half not. Exactly my point. I met my husband before I went vegan, okay? He married me. <coughs> he married me when I was a vegan. No? And because you could tell that I love cooking. I used to cook awesome, awesome meals for him. Meat-based meals, you know, prugogi, kalbi. Crab meats, barbecues, mmm, kimchi with a lot of pork in it. That's what I used to cook for him. And he used to love me for that. 
I go vegan. How do you think his reaction is gonna be? You know, you marry your husband, let's say, and he was Christian. You guys were both Christian. One day he's like, you know what? I'm not gonna be Christian anymore. I'm gonna be a Buddhist. And he really believes that Buddhism is like the way to go. You know? How do you think you're gonna feel? That's exactly the reaction my husband gave me. He was so hurt. The fact that I'm a vegan. He didn't care about the animal. He didn't care about the environment. It wasn't even that. It was just about him and my relationship, you know? Like it's like almost like cut it off. On top of that, I went a little bit psychotic in the beginning. I was like, <laughs> no more non-vegan food in the house. Mm -hmm. This story is a little bit gearing towards my husband again. We're talking about kids. On top of that, this story is getting a little too serious. Oh, but I can't do that to my hair. Today, my hair is curly, and this is a style. Like, it has to have it in the front. You know, I had all this information about going vegan. And I stopped everything. I stopped buying meats. I stopped, stopped doing this and that, you know? So, it went on for like six months. With the house, the atmosphere, like, you know how I like to be very funny and bring people up? Well, that time, I was very gloomy. He didn't want to, you know, we eat dinner. We tried to eat dinner. Oh, somebody also asked me, when do you do your mukbang, right? I usually do mukbang for lunch, okay? For breakfast, I usually have smoothie, like green smoothie or banana smoothie, something like that. I eat this for lunch and for dinner, we eat together. That's what we do as a family. And he didn't want to eat with us anymore. Because he was like, I'm not eating that. He's like, I want my meat back. I mean, the more I came closer with vegan, he went further and further. And this is what I mean by like for six months, remember I told you I used to cry like so much because I was like, I just didn't understand it. Mm. Those days. Thinking back. Oh, it makes me so sad. Anyways, and the main reason for our fights was our kids because I'm not feeding that to my kids. And he was like, those are my kids too. I could feed them whatever I want too. And I was like, I'm not feeding that into their body. And he was like, yes I am because I'm eating meat and I want them to eat chicken. And it was more like, he knows meat is not healthy for him. But he grew up eating meat all his life. He's main ingredient, I think, other than rice and kimchi, I think was probably meat. And he grew up with boys, a whole bunch of boys in his house. So it was always like meat. You know how boys eat a lot of meat? Um, I'm sure somewhere in his mind, Oh, you need protein from me, you need calcium from me. Of course, when you go vegan, you know all this information about how meat could do to you and it's not good for you. But if you're non-vegan, which like 80% of the population, they're not vegan. Come on, come on, guys. You guys make it sound like everyone's vegan and only like 10% are not. It's the other way around. It's 80% of people in this world, they're not vegans, okay? And they all think <clears throat> meat is okay. That's why they eat meat. So it was up to a point where I noticed my kids were very hurt in the middle. 
because they love daddy, they love mommy, they don't know where to go. We're always fighting over food. You know, if you think about it, it's food. The bottom line is we're fighting over food. It's, it was very sad when I realized that. So, as you can see, my babies are happy now because me and my husband, we decided to meet halfway, okay? I mean, there's you, there's your husband, okay? You are very, very lucky if you guys stand together and look the same way and walk together. You are very blessed, you're very lucky. But some of you, it might be you and this is your husband. You guys don't, you know, in the same, standing together. But there is a solution to that, okay? You might be here, he might be there. All you have to do is just look the same way, okay? And just walk, but you're looking at the same way. And one day, maybe it'll meet. You know what I mean? But maybe you're here, maybe you're here. Maybe it takes time. Maybe this will happen in one year. Maybe it takes 10 years, you know? But instead of looking other way, like this, you know? Have one thing, looking at together, doing this. You know what I mean? That's what I decided to do with my husband. So therefore my kids are so much more happier and they love vegan food and they also eat non-vegan food with their dad. And sometimes when we're out as a family, my husband is very accommodating to me because he'll take me to all these hip vegan restaurants and he'll try it. He's like, before he was like, oh my gosh, the worst thing he ever said to me when I went vegan was, don't ever say you're vegan around me. Don't say that. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, are you vegan? And I was like, this is like our bottom, a rock bottom fight that, you know. <laughs> this is getting a little too personal. But I'm sure you guys want to hear this. Now, everything in life is all like joking. And you know, you have to have some serious moment in your life too. And this is one of them. He was like, so I was afraid to say I was vegan because I knew it would hurt. I knew it was hurting him when I said vegan this, vegan that. You know, I've been vegan for three years now. I say I'm vegan. I wear stuff that I'm vegan and stuff like that. It doesn't bother him because I met in the middle. You know, if you are living in that kind of situation, maybe your parents, your boyfriend, your daughter, it could be your son, you know, your parents, whatever. The, the best advice I have for you is don't try to make them vegan by being negative, you know? Did you know the egg does this to you? Do you know, do you know the beef, they have this and this and this and beef? Don't, don't go that way. If they don't have to take that in, okay? What you need to do is go the other way and go like, they, oh, I heard that the kimchi is really good for you because they're the probiotic and this is, you know, the pro probiotic does this for your body and, you know, target them, you know, make, make, you know, do it that way. Do it in a positive way. Gosh, my video was way too serious and way too long. I gotta go. On top of that, my kids are not even here. Some of you only watch me only for my kids, which is cool. This is like not a smelling food. You know, it doesn't have any like odor in the house. That's why they're not here. They don't smell anything. They'll be like, okay, let her do her thing. You know, which is cool. I didn't forget about you, Sriracha. Mm. Mm. I'll see you later, guys.